fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But in our little village of Anadepka, what you might say, every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to uh, scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. And it isn't easy. Now, you may ask, well, why don't we stay up there if it's so dangerous? Ah, but we stay because, well, because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I can tell you in just one word. Tradition! We have traditions for everything. How to, how to eat, how to sleep, how to wear clothes. For instance, we always keep our heads covered and always wear a prayer shawl, showing our constant devotion to God. Now you may ask, how did this tradition start? I'll tell you. Uh, I don't know. But it's a tradition! And because of our traditions, everyone knows who he is and what God expects him to do. Day and night must struggle for a living Me, the wife and children say his daily prayers And who has the right as the master of the house To have the final word at home The Papa, the Papa Tradition, the Papa And there are the others in 
in our village. They hit a much bigger circle than we do. There's honor the constable, there's honor the priest, there's honor many others. We don't bother them, and so far they don't bother us. And among ourselves, well, we get along perfectly well. Although there was that one time where he sold him a horse and he delivered the mule, but that's all settled now. Now we just live in simple peace. It was oh. a horse. It's a mule. It was a horse. It was a horse. What is he talking about? Taylor 
mobile bus in cycle. They've been friends since they were babies together. They talk, they play. They play? What do they play? Who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. <laughs> mobile, he's a nothing. Yenta, you said. Ah, children, children. They are a blessing in your old age, but my Aaron couldn't give me children. Believe me, he was as good as gold. Never raised his voice to me, but otherwise he thought as much of a man. So what good is it if he never raised his voice? Eh, but what do you complaining, eh? Other women enjoy complaining. Not Yenta. Not every woman in the world is Yenta. Well, I must go prepare my poor Sabbath table. So goodbye, Golda. And it was a better talking our hearts up to each other. <laughs> Yenta, you said you had news for me. Oh! Losing my head. One day it will fall off altogether, and of course we'll kick it into the mud, and goodbye, Yenta. <laughs> What's the news? It's about Laser Wolf, the butcher. A good man, a fine man, and I don't have to tell him he's well off. But he's lonely, the poor man. You understand, of course. Anyway, to make it short, out of the whole town, he has cast his eye on Saito. My Saito? No, it's our Saito. Of course your Saito. Such a match for that Saito. Have you once a learned man? He doesn't like laser. Listen to me, Golda. Send Hevia to him. Don't tell him what it's about. Let laser discuss it himself. He is a good man, a wealthy man. True, true. So, you tell me how it went, and you don't have to say to Golda, because if I come, I see that can even laser be pain. It gives me satisfaction to make people happy. What greater satisfaction is there? So, goodbye, Kosa, and you're welcome. What did you want, Mama? When I want you to know, I'll tell you. Finish washing the floor. I wonder if Yenta found a husband for you. Oh, I'm not angry. For Yenta to find me a pussy. <laughs> Not unless it's muscle. The tail. I didn't ask you. But Saito, you're the oldest. They have to make a match for you before they can make one for me. And then I'm with her. One for me. So it's Yenta. Ah, Yenta, Yenta, Yenta! Well, somebody has to arrange the matches. Young people can't decide these things themselves. She might bring someone wonderful. Someone interesting. And well, oh,
the Sabbath, that wasn't very nice. I mean, it's enough you pick on me, old Tevye, less than with five beautiful daughters, and I like the poverty. But what did my poor horse ever do to you, huh? You know, sometimes I think when things get too quiet up there, you say to yourself, let's see what kind of mischief we can play on old Tevye. So, I'm finally here, my brethren. I'll talk to you later. Where is your horse? He was invited to the blacksmith's for the Sabbath. Well, hurry up, the sun won't wait for you. I have something to say to you. As the good book says, heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. In other words, send us the cure. We've got the sickness already. <laughs> of course, I'm not really complaining. After all, with your help, I'm here starving to death. Dear God. <clears throat> You made many, many poor people. And I realize, of course, it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. So what would have been so terrible if I'd had a, a small fortune? If I were a rich man, the idle little little digga diddle diddle dang dang. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, wouldn't have to work hard. Yaddle diddle diddle diggle diggle diddle diggle dum. If I were a pity pity rich yaddle diggle 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 man, I'd build a big tall house with the rooms by the dozen, right in the middle of the town. A fine tin roof with the real wooden floors below. There would be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show. I'd feel my yard with cheeks and turkeys and geese and ducks for the town to see and hear squawking just as noisily as they can and each loud, hey, 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 hey
shine like a truck of Halir, as if to say he lives a wealthy man. If I were a rich man, he had a little, little digger, that little, that dumb. All day long, I'd pity, pity bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. I had a little, little digger, that little, that dumb. If I were a pity, pity rich, that digger, that little, man. I see my wife, my Golda, looking like a rich man's wife with a proper double chin, supervising meals to her heart's delight. I see her putting on airs and strutting like a peacock. Oh, what the happy mood she's in, screaming at the servants day and night. The most important men in town will come to fall on me. They will ask me to advise them, like a solemn in the wise. If you please, Rev Tevye, hard on me, Rev Tevye, posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. Yada di da da yada da da. If I answer right or wrong When you're rich they think you really know If I were rich I'd have the time that I lack To sit in the synagogue and pray And maybe have a seat by the eastern wall and I discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day. That would be the sweetest thing of all. <sighs> if I were a rich man, I had a little, little digger, diddle, 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 dog. All day long, I'd pity, pity, bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. I got a little, little, digger, diddle, 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 dog. Lord, who made the lion and the lamb, you decreed I should be what I am. Would it spoil some vast eternal plan? If I were a wealthy Sorry, I had a little uh, accident with my horse. You forgot the rabbit order. Uh, of course, Red Mendel. But Tibby, you forgot to my order. This is bigger news than the plague in Odessa. Speaking of news, terrible news from the outside world. Terrible! What is it? What do you say? In a village called Rajanka, all the Jews were evicted, forced to leave their home. For what reason? It doesn't say. Maybe the Tsar wanted their land. Maybe a plague. May the Tsar have his own personal plague. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Why don't you ever bring us some good news? I only read it. It was an edict from the authorities. May the authorities start itching at places they can't reach. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Why do you curse them? What good will your cursing do? You curse, and you chatter, and you don't do anything. You chatter your way to the grave. Excuse me. You're not from the village? No. Then where are you from? Kiev. I was a student at the university there. University? <laughs> Aha! The university. Is that where you learn to criticize your elders? That's where I learned that there's more to life than talk. You should know what's going on in the outside world. Why should I have to break my head about the outside world? Let them break their own heads. You know, he's right. Thank you. <laughs> 
As the good book says, when you spit in the air, it lands back on your face. But that's nonsense. You can't close your eyes to what's happening in the world. You know, he is also right. He's right. And she's right. How can they both be right? And you know you are also right. <laughs> He's right. He's still back behind the ears. Good set, Tibby. Good set, Tibby. Good set, Tibby. You forgot the rabbi's order. My chief. Of course, of course, Red Mendel. So, you're from Kiev, Reb. Perchik, Perchik, yes. Uh, as King David put it, I am a stranger in a strange land. Moses said that. Forgive me. Uh, as Abraham said, I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. That was also Moses. For a man with a slow tongue, he sure talked a lot. And my chief. Of course, of course. Here, have a piece. I have no money, and I am not a beggar. It's a blessing for me to give, huh? Very well. For your sake, you know it's no crime to be poor. In this world, it is the rich who are the criminals. Someday their wealth shall be ours. Ah, that would be nice. They would agree, I would agree. <laughs> and who will make this miracle come to pass? People. Ordinary people. Like you? Like me. Nonsense! And until this golden day comes, Red Perchik, how will you live? By giving lessons to children. Do you have children? I have five daughters. Five? Daughters. <laughs> Girls should learn too. Girls are people. A radical! I would be willing to teach them. Open their minds to great thoughts. And what great thoughts would those be? Well, the Bible has many great lessons for our times. Uh, I am a very poor man. Food for lessons? Great. You stay with us for the Sabbath. We don't eat like kings, but oh, we don't starve either. You know, as the good book says, when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Where does a good book say that? Uh, well, it doesn't exactly say that, but someplace I'm sure there is something about the chicken. <laughs> Good Sabbath, my man. Good Sabbath! Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath, children. Good Sabbath. Ah, hello. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Everyone, this is Perchik. Perchik, my oldest daughter, Zaydel. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. You have a pleasant daughter. Ah, I have five pleasant daughters. This one is mine. And this one is mine. And this one is mine. And this one is mine. And. <laughs> Uh, this one is not mine. Uh, Perchik, this is Michael Kamsoy. He's staying the Sabbath. So, you did me a favor and came in. And this one is also mine. <laughs> Golda, this is Perchik, a student from Kiev. He's a teacher. Would you like to learn from him? I am a very good teacher. A very good teacher. I heard once a rabbi who must praise himself has a congregation of one. <laughs> Your daughter has a quick and witty tongue. Ah, the wit she gets from me. As the good book says... The good book can wait. Get lost. And the tongue she gets from her mother. <laughs> Mom, you're also eating with us? Of course, another blessing. Cycle two more. Split up, Piotr, get lost. Mother can help me. Ah, uh, get the table. All right, how about you go to? You can wash outside if you want. Tevia, I have something to say to you. Why should today be any different? <laughs> Maybe I have to tell you. Shh, I ain't. Laser Wolf wants to see you. The butcher? What about? <coughs> I don't know. Only that he says it's important. 
What could be important? I have nothing for him to slaughter. After the Sabbath, see him and talk to him. Talk to him about what? You know, if he's thinking about buying my new milk cow, he can forget it. Heavier, don't be an ox. A man sends an important message, the least you can do is talk to him. Talk to him about what? He wants my new milk cow. Talk to him. All right, after the Sabbath, I'll talk to him. Mato, Yenta is here. I saw her. If they decide on someone, then there will be a match and it will be too late for us. Don't worry, Cycle. I have found someone who will sell me his used sewing machine. So in a few weeks, I'll have saved up enough to buy it. And, and then your father will be impressed with me. But Mato, a few weeks may be too late. But what else can we do? You could. Ask my father for my hand tonight. Now! Oh, now? Why should he consider me now? I'm just a poor tailor. And I'm just the daughter of a poor milkman. Will you talk to him? Beside him. If your father says no, then that's it. It's final. I, I mean, he'll yell at me. Mom, I'm just a poor tailor. Mottle! Even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. That's true. Will you talk to him? Then you talk to him! Everybody, come on, it's late. Rattapia. Come, children, we're lighting the candles. Rattapia. Ah, uh, yes, Mapu, what is it? Oh, Mapu, what is it? <laughs> good Sabbath, Rattapia. Ah, uh, yes, good, good Sabbath, Mapu.
Remarque. Yes, I said all. Your best brandy and two glasses. Two. Your best brandy, Red Laser. What's the occasion? Are you having a party? There may be a party, maybe even a wedding. A wedding? That's wonderful. And now we have to make the wedding merry. Lizzie, dancing and so forth. Poor little fee, naturally. Ah, uh, yes, wedding is not wedding without you and your fee. <laughs> good evening, innkeeper. Good, good evening. Be like a drink. Vodka, schnapps. Sit down, get up. Right away. Good evening, everyone. What are you here? What are you doing here, sir? Ah, uh, Red Laser wants to try and buy my new milk cow. <laughs> new milk cow. Good evening, Tevye. Good evening, Red Laser. Uh, good evening, Tevye. Uh, please sit down and have a drink. I won't insult you by saying no. So how goes it with you, Tevye? How should it go? You're right. And you? The same. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so how is your brother-in-law in America? I believe he's doing very well. He wrote? Not lately. How do you know? Well, if he was doing badly, he would write. May I? Tevye, I suppose you know why I asked you to be here, yes? Uh, yes, but there is no use talking about it. Why not? Well, why yes, why should I get rid of her? <laughs> well, I suppose you have a few more without her. Ah, uh, I see. They want one, tomorrow you may want two. Two! <laughs> what did I do with two? The same as you do with one. Tevye! <laughs> this is very important to me. Why is it so important to you? Well, frankly, I am lonesome. <laughs> Lonesome? What are you talking about? You don't know? Yes, I know. We're talking about my new milk cow, the one you want to buy from me. <laughs> no. <laughs> A milk cow? So I won't be lonesome? No, Debbie, I'm talking about your daughter, your daughter Zaito. Daughter Zaitel? Of course, your daughter Zaitel. I see her every Thursday in my butcher shop. She's made a very nice impression on me. And as you know, I'm well off. I have my own store, a good servant, a good house. Listen, Tevye, why do we have to impress each other? Let's just shake hands and call it a match. You don't even need a dowry for her. And well, maybe you could find something in your purse that could pass. Well, shame on you, shame! My daughter cycle's not the sort that would sell for money. Fine, fine, we'll talk about money. The main thing is, we'll shake and get it over with. And I'll be good to her. I like her. So what do you think? What do I think? What do I think? I never liked him! You can have a fine conversation with him. You're talking about livers and kidneys. On the other hand, does everybody have to be a scholar? When you're wealthy, no one will call you stupid. And with the butcher, my daughter would surely never starve. On the other hand, he has a problem. He's much older than she is. That's her problem. But she's much younger than he is, and that's his problem. I never liked him, but perhaps I misjudged him. He likes her. He wants to make her happy. What do I think? It's a match. You agree? I agree. Oh, Tevye, that's wonderful. Let's drink on it. Of course. To you. No, my friend, to you. To the both of us. To our agreement. To our agreement. To our prosperity. To our good health and happiness. And the most important, to life, to life, Lachayam. Lachayam, Lachayam, to life. Here's to the father I try to be. Here's to my price of beer. Drink Lachayam, to life, to life, Lachayam. Lachayam, Lachayam, to life.
Life has a way of confusing us, blushing and bruising us. Drink like I am to love. God would like us to be joyful, even when our hearts lie panting on the floor. How much more could we be joyful when there's really something to be joyful for? To life, to life, lachayim, to title my daughter, my wife. It gives you something to think about, something to drink about. Drink lachayim. For everybody! Hey! Hey! I'm taking myself a bride! Tebby's eldest! Santo! To Tebby! To Santo, your daughter! My wife! May all your futures be pleasant ones, not like a present ones! Drink like I am to life! To life! Like I am! Like I am! Like I am! Like I am to life! It's a wedding to make a say, let's live another day. Drink like I am to life. Raise a glass and sip a drop the shops in honor of the great good luck that favored you. Know that when good fortune favors to such land and stands to reason, we deserve it too. To us and our good fortune, be happy, be happy, love life. And if our good fortune never comes, here's to whatever comes. Drink blood fire to
You not take it. After the wedding, you'll be my papa. Papa. I, I always wanted a son, but maybe we're a little younger than myself, huh? <laughs> Uh, good evening, Constable. Good evening. What's the celebration? Devia is marrying off his oldest daughter. Ah, may I offer my congratulations, Devia? Thank you, Your Honor. And Devia, there's a piece of news that I think I should share with you. What is that? I'm telling you this because I like you. You are a decent, honest man, even if you are a Jewish dog. Uh, <laughs> uh, Thank you, Your Honor. How often does a man get, get a compliment like that? <laughs> and, and your news? We received orders that sometime soon there's to be a little unofficial demonstration. A, a pogrom here? No, no, no. It's an official demonstration. How little? Nothing serious. Enough that if an inspector were to come through, he could see we've done our job. Personally, I don't see why there has to be a trouble between people, but I thought I should tell you, and you can tell the others. Uh, yes, uh, th thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. You are a good man. And if I may say so, it's, it's too bad you're not a Jew. <laughs> oh, that's what I like about you, Tevye. Always joking. And congratulations again. And your daughter. Thank you, Your Honor. Goodbye. Dear God, did you have to send me news like that on today of all days? Sure, it's true we're the chosen people, but once in a while, couldn't you just choose somebody else? Anyway, thank you for sending a husband for my cycle. Lachaya. children, I will teach you a lesson from the Bible of Laban and Jacob, and we shall discuss it together, all right? Good. Now Laban had two daughters, Leah and the beautiful Rachel, and Jacob loved the younger Rachel, so he asked Laban for a hand. Laban agreed, if he would work for him for seven years. Was Laban mean that? He was an employer. Now, do you know what happened to him after he went for him for seven years? Well, Laban fooled him and gave him his ugly daughter, Leah. So to gain Rachel's hand, Jacob was forced to work another seven years. So you see, children, the Bible clearly states and teaches us that you must never trust an employer. <laughs> do you understand? Yes, Perchik. Yes, Perchik. Good. Papa now, isn't up yet. Then enough lessons, we'll have to do his work today. How long can he sleep? Came home last night and fell into bed like a dead man. I couldn't get a word out of him. Put that away and clean the bar. Call me when Papa gets up. That was a very interesting lesson. You think so? Although, I don't know if the rabbi would agree with your interpretation. And neither do I suppose with the rabbi's son. My little sisters have big tongues. And what do you know about this rabbi's son? Would you be interested in him if he were the tinsmith's son? Or the shoemaker's son? At least I know this. He does not have any strange ideas about turning the world upside down. Certainly, any new idea would be strange to you. Remember, the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he was not talking to you personally. You have spirit. 
Even a little intelligence, perhaps. Thank you. But what good is your brain? Without curiosity, it is a rusty tool. Good day, Hoddle. We have an old custom here. A boy acts respectfully to a girl. But of course, that is too traditional for an advanced thinker like you. Our traditions, nothing must change. Everything is perfect exactly the way it is. We like our ways. Our ways are changing all over but here. Here, men and women must keep apart. Men study, women in the kitchen. Boys and girls should not even touch, should not even look at each other. I'm looking at you. You are very brave. Did you know that in the city, boys and girls can be affectionate without the permission of a matchmaker? They hold hands together. They even dance together. New dances, like this. I learned it in Kiev. Do you like it? It's very nice. Well, there. We just changed the known custom. Yes, well, you're welcome. I mean, thank you. I mean, good day. Good day. <laughs> oh, um, Chava. No, no. Spritza. Hobble. Yeah, yes, Hobble. Uh, where, where is Zyla? She's in the barn. All right, would you? So, Red Perchik, how go the lessons? I think we made a good beginning. Ah, they're finally up. What happened last night besides your drinking like a peasant? Did you talk to Laser Wolf? What did he say? What did you say? Do you have news? Patience, woman. As the good book says, good news will stay and bad news will refuse to leave. And there's another saying that goes... can die from such a man. Ah, Zyphal, my lamb, come here, come here. You are to be congratulated. You're going to be married. Married? What, what do you mean, Papa? Laser Wolf has asked for your hand. I knew it. I knew it. The book? And what say you, Zyphal? What can she say? Cycle, a bride. May you grow old with him in fortune and honor. Not like him, a sound of that first wife of his. She was a bitter woman. May she rest in peace. Not like my cycle. And now I must thank Yenta. My cycle, a bride. Mazel tov, You call that a mazel tov? And what about you, Parachik? Aren't you going to congratulate them? Uh, congratulations, I told. On marrying a rich man. Uh, again with the rich. What's so wrong with being rich? There's no reason to marry. Money is the world's curse. Then may the Lord smite me with it. <laughs> and may I never recover. <laughs> Cycle knows I only mean her well, right, Cycle? Yes, Papa. There you see. I see. I see very well. Sai, why are you so silent? Aren't you happy with this blessing? No, no, Papa, Papa! What, what, what's wrong? What's up? Tell me, what's wrong? Papa, I don't want to marry him. I can't marry him. I can't! What do you mean you can't? If it's a matter of money, Papa, I'll do anything. I'll hire myself out of the servants, I'll dig ditches, I'll haul rocks. Only don't make me marry him, Papa, please. What's wrong with Laser? He likes you. I will be unhappy with him. All my life will be unhappy. I'll dig ditches, I'll haul rocks. But we made an agreement. And with us, an agreement is an agreement. Is that more important than I am? Papa? Papa, don't force me. I'll be unhappy all my days. All right. I won't force you. Oh, thank you, Papa. Thank you. <laughs> it seems it was not ordained that we should enjoy all the comforts of life. 
or that we should have a little joy in our old age after all our hard work. Reptavia, may I speak with you? Uh, later, Martha, later. Reptavia, I would like to speak with you. Not now, Martha, I have problems. That is what I want to speak with you about. I think I can help. Oh, certainly, like a bandage could help a corpse. Goodbye, Martha, goodbye. <laughs> All right, you have a tongue to talk. Rutheria, I hear that you are arranging a match for Cycle. Ah, he also has ears. Well, I have a match for Cycle. What kind of match? A uh, perfect fit. Perfect fit. Like a glove. Like a glove. This match was made exactly to measure. Exactly to measure. Like, stop talking like a tailor, Marlon. Just tell me what it is. Please don't shout at me, Rutheria. All right. All right. Who is it? Who is it? No, who is it? Who is it? Who is it, Mago? Myself. Him? Himself? Either you're completely out of your mind, or you're crazy. Oh, he must be crazy. What? What are you? Everything? Huh? The matchmaker, the bridegroom, the guests, all rolled up into one. I suppose you'll even form the ceremony too. He must be crazy. Please. Don't shout at me, Reptavia. And as for being my own matchmaker, I know it's a little unusual, but... Unusual? It's crazy! Times are changing, Reptavia. And the thing is, your daughter and I gave each other a pledge over a year ago that we would marry. <laughs> you gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa. Gave each other a pledge. They gave each other a pledge. Unheard of. Absurd. You gave each other a pledge. Unthinkable. Where do you think you are? In Moscow? In Paris? Where do they think they are? America? And what do you think you're doing? Huh? You Stitcher. You nothing. Who do you think you are? King Solomon? This isn't the way it's done. Not here, not now. Some things I will not, I cannot allow. Tradition. Marriages must be arranged by the Papa. This should never be changed. One little time I pull out the prop and where does it stop? Where does it stop? Where does it stop? Don't I still have something to say about my daughter, or doesn't anyone have to ask the father anymore? I have wanted to tell you for some time now, Reptavia. But first, I wanted to save up for my own sewing machine. <laughs> Stop talking nonsense. You're just a poor tailor. That may be true, Reptavia. But even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. And I promise you, Reptavia, your daughter will not starve. <laughs> He's beginning to talk like a man. On the other hand, what kind of match is that with, with a poor tailor? On the other hand, he's honest, hard-working. On the other hand, he has nothing, absolutely nothing. On the other hand, things could not get any worse for him. It only gets better. <laughs> They gave each other a pledge, unheard of, absurd. They gave each other a pledge, unthinkable. But look at my daughter's face. She loves him, she wants him. And look at my daughter's eyes, so cold. Tradition! Very well, children. When should we make the wedding? Oh, thank you, Papa, thank you! Oh, you won't be sorry, Reptivia. Won't be sorry, I'm sorry already. Thank you, Papa! Thank you, Papa! Oh, God. Oh, God, what, what am I going to tell your mother? Help! Papa, oh, that was wonderful! No. It was a miracle! It was a miracle! 
wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles. God took up Daniel once again, stood by his side, and miracle of miracles walked him through the lion's den. Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles. I was afraid that God would frown, but like He did so long ago in Jericho, God just made a wall fall down when Moses softened Pharaoh's heart. That was a miracle. When God made the waters of the Red Sea part, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is that out of a worthless lump of clay, God has made a man today. Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, God took a tailor by the hand, turned him around, and the miracle of miracles led him to the promised land. When David slew Goliath, yes, that was a miracle. When God gave us manna in the wilderness, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is the one I thought could never be. God has given celebration of, of some kind. Everyone we knew was there. Musicians too. And in the middle of the dream, in walks your grandmother Zyper. May she rest in peace. Grandmother Zyper? How did she look? Well, for a woman who's been dead 30 years, she looked pretty good. <laughs> Naturally, I went up to greet her. She said to me, A blessing on your head. Mazel tov, mazel tov, to see a daughter wed. Mazel tov, mazel tov, and such a son-in-law, like no one ever saw, the tailor Mazel Cohn's oil. Mazel! A worthy boy is he. Mazel tov, mazel tov, a pious family. Mazel tov, mazel tov, they named him after my dear uncle Mordecai, the tailor Mazel Cohn's oil. A tailor! She must have heard wrong, she meant the butcher. <laughs> you must have heard wrong, Grandma. There's no tailor. You mean a butcher, Grandma, in the name of Laser Wolf? No! In heaven it was me, a fine upstanding boy, a cup 
comfort and a joy. The tail of my tail comes oil. <laughs> but we announced it already. We made a bargain with the butcher. But we announced it to grandma to our neighbors. We made a bargain, grandma, with the butcher laser wolf. No, 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 no. The table mock will come.
Taylor? That's terrible. <coughs> hey, Mazel Tov, model. Do you have a wedding hat for me? Jewish? Do you feel the same way about us the way they feel about you? I didn't think you would. And what do you know about me? Let me tell you about myself. I'm a pleasant fellow, charming, honest, ambitious, quite bright, and very modest. <laughs> I don't think we should be talking this way. I often do things I shouldn't. Go ahead. Take the book. It's by Heinrich Hans. Happens to be Jewish, I believe. Well, that doesn't matter. You're quite right. Good. After you finish it, I'll ask you how you like it, and we'll talk about it for a while, and we can talk about life, and how we feel about things, and it can all turn out quite pleasant. Oh, uh, Birke, can I help you with something? No, thank you. You forgot your book. Uh, no. It's mine. Thank you, Chava. Good day, Chava. Good day, uh... Fierka. Good day, Fierka. <laughs> Did she 
gets to be a beauty. When did he grow to be so Sweet, sweet. 
My friends, my friends, we are gathered here to share the joy of the newlyweds. Mottle and Zeitel, may they live in peace to a ripe old age. Amen. Amen. Ah, uh, here comes our beloved Rabbi. May he be with us for many, many years. Amen. Amen. I'd like to announce that the bride's parents have gifts for the newlyweds. The following, a feather bed. Ooh, oh, yeah, not bad, not bad. A pair of pillows. Goose pillows. Goose pillows! Oh. Oh. Wow. Thank you, man. Shoop, shoop. And this pair of candlesticks. Oh. Now, now, let us not in our joy tonight forget those who are no longer with us, our dear departed, who lived in pain and poverty and hardship, and who died in pain and poverty and hardship. <coughs> but enough tears! Let's all be merry and content. Like our good friend, Laser Wolf, who has everything in the world. Except a bride. <laughs> but Laser has no ill feelings. Ooh, in fact, he has a gift for the newly beds and he wants to announce himself. Come, Laser Wolf. Read this Yes, as he said, I harbor no ill feelings. What is done is done. I am giving the newlyweds five chickens, one for each of the first five Sabbaths of their newlywed life. Muscle time! Laser, you are a decent man. In the name of the bride and groom, I accept your gift. You know, as the good book says, Reptavia, I'm not marrying your daughter. I don't need to listen to your sayings. Oh. Well, if you would only listen just a second, I would Why say... should I listen to a man who breaks his own word? Red laser? Oh, in the middle of a wedding. I have my right to talk. What rights? It's not your wedding. Oh, it should have been! Oh, oh, it should have been! Oh, it should have been! Mr. Rabbi. Rabbi, say something. I say... I say, let's sit down. <laughs> well, we, we all heard the wise words of the rabbi. Now I'd like to sing a little song that goes... You know, goes you can keep your deceased chicken! You leave your chicken! You can keep your deceased chicken! You can keep your deceased chicken! You can keep your deceased chicken! I had a sign! I had a sign! My own grandmother came to us from beyond the grave! That sign! Grandmother! My grandfather came to me from the grave, and he said that her grandmother Quiet! What is all this screaming about? They drank on it? An agreement? A sign? It's all nonsense. Saito wanted to marry Mato and not Laser. A young girl, is that for herself? Yes, why not? They love each other. I say, I know. Let's sit down.
Musicians, play a dance, a dance. It's a wedding dance. Some peasant. What did you mean? Fortune. <laughs> oh my God. Who will dance with me? That is a sin. It's no sin to dance at a wedding. But he's a girl. That's what comes from bringing a wild man into your house. He's not a wild man. He has a, a few crazy ideas. It is a sin. It's no sin. Ask the rabbi. Ask him. Well, rabbi. Well, dancing is not exactly forbidden. Oh, however. Well, see, it's not forbidden. And it's no sin. Now, who will dance with me? I'm sorry, but the orders are for tonight. The whole village. Go on, men. No. Play. Oh. 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 Genuinely sorry, Tapia. Of course. Come on, men! Take him in the house. What are you standing around for? Clean up. Clean up!
It was quite the dowry you gave my daughter a zidal at her wedding. Was that really necessary? Anyway, Zidal and Bob have been buried almost two months now. They worked very hard and as poor as synagogue mice. But they're both so happy they don't know how miserable they really are. You know, Martin's always talking about this new sewing machine. And I know you're very busy, God. Wars, revolutions, floods, plagues, all those lethal things that bring people to you. But could you take a second away from your catastrophes and get it for him? Would that be so hard? And while you're in the neighborhood, my horse's left leg. Am I bothering you too much? I'm sorry. As the good book says, well, why should I tell you what the good book says? Please don't be upset, Hodo. Why should I be upset? If you must leave, you must. I do have to. They expect me in Kiev tomorrow morning. So you told me, then goodbye. Great changes are happening all over the country. Tremendous changes, but they can't happen by themselves. So naturally you feel that you personally have to go Not and- Not only me, many people, Jews, Gentiles, many people hate what's going on. Don't you understand? I understand, of course. You got to leave, then goodbye. Hado, Hado, your, your father, the others here think what happened at Saito's wedding was a little cloudburst and that everything's going to be peaceful again. It won't. Horrible things are happening all over the land. Terrible things. Violence, pogroms, villages are being emptied of the people. It's spreading everywhere and it will spread here. Don't you understand? I, I suppose I do. I have work to do. The greatest work a man can do. And goodbye. Before I go, there is a certain question I wish to discuss with you. Yes? A political question. But is it? The question of marriage. This is a political question? In a theoretical sense? Yes, the relationship between a man and a woman, known as marriage, is based on mutual beliefs, a common attitude, and a philosophy and towards- affection? Yes, and, and this relationship holds positive social values. It reflects a unity and a solidarity and-, and affection. And, and affection. And I am personally in favor of it. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, I think you're asking me to marry you. In a theoretical sense? Yes. I was hoping you were. Then I take it you approve, and we can consider ourselves engaged, even though I'm going very, very far away? I, I'm happy, Hoddle. Very happy. So am I, Perchik. What's the matter? I used to tell myself that I had everything, but that was only half true. I had an aim in life, and that was everything, but now I even have you. I have something that I can die for, someone that I can live for too. Yes, now I have everything, not only everything, I have a little bit more. Besides having everything, I know what everything's for. I used to wonder, could there be a wife to share such a difficult, wandry kind of life? is right at hand, simple and clean. I have something that I can die for, someone that I can live for 
to Just now I have everything Not only everything I have a little bit more Besides having everything I know what everything As soon as I can, I will send for you. It will be a hard life, Otto. But it will be less hard if we live it together. Yes. Ah, good evening, Rev Perchik. Good evening, Rev Tepje. I have some bad news. What is that? I must leave this place. When? Right away. I'm so sorry to hear that. We'll all miss you. But you can also congratulate me. Ah, oh, congratulations. What for? We're engaged. <laughs> engaged? Yes, Papa. We're engaged. Um, no, no, you're not. <laughs> I, I, I know you like him and, and you like her, but you're going away and you're staying here, so... Uh, have a nice trip for a chicken. My answer is no. Papa, you don't understand. I understand. I gave my permission to model and title, and now you feel you also have a right. I'm sorry, Hoddle and Perchik, you're going away for a very long time, so go in good health, and my answer is still no. You don't understand. And you're not listening. I say no. I'm sorry, Hoddle, but we'll find someone for you here in Anatevka. Rebtevye! What is it? We're not asking for your permission, only for your blessing. We are going to get married. You're not asking my permission? But we would like your blessing, Papa. I can't believe my own ears. My blessing? For what? For going over my head, impossible. At least with Zinal and Model, they asked me, they begged me. But now, if I like it or not, you'll marry him? Well, what do you want from me? Go on, be wed, and tear out my beard and uncover my head. Tradition. They're not even asking permission from the Papa. What's happening to the tradition? One little time I pull out the thread and where has it led? Where has it led? Where has it led? A man tells me he's going to marry my daughter. He tells me? But first he abandons her. He is not abandoning me, Papa. As soon as I can, I will sit for her. I love her. He loves her. <laughs> love. It's the new style. <laughs> On the other hand, our old ways were once new, weren't they? On the other hand, they decided without their parents, without the matchmaker. On the other hand, did Adam and Eve have a matchmaker? Yes, they did. And it seems these two have the same matchmaker. They're going over my head, unheard of, absurd. For this they want to be blessed, unthinkable. I'll lock her up in her room. I couldn't. I should! But look at my daughter's eyes, so hopeful. Tradition! Very well, children. You have my blessing and I permission. Oh, thank you, Papa. You don't know how happy this makes me. What else could I do? Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa.
Oh God, what am I going to tell your mother? Another dream? Perhaps if you tell her that I'm going to visit a rich uncle. Something like that. Uh, please, Parachika, I think I can handle my own wife. Golda? 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 What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, yes, uh, hello, Golda. Uh, I, I was just talking to Hartman and Perchik. Well? Well, they, 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 they seem very fond of each other. Well? Well, uh, I have decided to give them my permission to be engaged, and now I just have to go what? into the house. What? Just like this? Are you asking me? But who asks you? I'm the father of... Who is he? He's a pauper. He has nothing. Absolutely nothing. I, I wouldn't say that. I, I hear he is a rich uncle. <laughs> I, I like him, Golda. He's a good man. A bit crazy, but I, I like him. And what's more important, Harvard likes him. Harvard loves him. So what can we do? It's a new world, Golda. Love. Golda. Do you love me? Do I what? <laughs> Do you love me? Do I love you? With our daughters getting married And this trouble in the town You're upset, you're worn out Go inside, go lie down No, Golda, I'm asking you a question. Do you love me? You're a fool! I know. But do you love me? Do I love you? Well? For 25 years I've washed your clothes, cooked your meals, cleaned your house, given you children, milked the cow, Twenty-five years, why talk about love right now? Golda, the first time I met you was on our wedding day. I was scared. I was shy. I was nervous. So was I. But my father and my mother said we'd learn to love each other. And now I'm asking, Golda, do you love me? I'm your wife. I know. Do you love me? Do I love him? Well? For 25 years I've lived with him, fought with him, starved with him. 25 years my bed is his. If that's not love, what is? Then you love me. I love you too. It doesn't change a thing, but even so, after 25 years, it's nice to. I happen to be at the post office today, and 
The postman told me there was a letter there for your sister, Kato. Wonderful. I'll go get it. I got it. <laughs> it's from her intended. Her chick. Oh, Harold is so excited. She's in the... It's open. It happened to be open. <laughs> Red King! Red King! I have such a note for you. Remember, her chick, that crazy stupid. Remember at the wedding, Finn's side of married mom, and her chick starts to dance. The tab is not a puddle. Well, I just heard that puddle's been arrested in Kiev. No! Yes! Shano! Shano! Wait till I tell you. Remember Perchick, that crazy student? Remember at the wedding? He danced with Tabia's huddle. Well, I just heard that huddle's been arrested in Kiev. No! Terrible! Terrible! With all his strange ideas, remember Kaito's wedding. When Tabby danced with Golda, well, I just heard that Tabby's been arrested and Golda's gone to Kiev. No! God forbid! She did it! She did! Oh, oh. Things in everyone. Terrible news. Terrible. Remember her chick yeah. who started all the trouble. So. Well, I just heard from someone who should know. Ah. That gold has been arrested uh, and Hoddle's on the key uh, Model studies dancing uh, and Chevy's acting strange. Uh, Spritza has the measles, uh, Yelka has the mumps. Uh, and that's what comes from men in demon dancing. <laughs> A few more minutes. So is, is, is he in bad trouble, that hero of yours? Arrested and convicted? But he did nothing wrong. He cares nothing for himself. Everything he does is for humanity. Oh, if he did nothing wrong, he wouldn't have been arrested. How can you say that, Papa? What wrongs did Moses do, or Joseph and Abraham, and they had troubles? Then why won't you tell me where he is, this Abraham of yours? It is far, Papa. Terribly far. He is in a settlement in Siberia. Oh, Siberia! And, and he wants you to go and, and marry him there in that frozen the wasteland away from your father and mother and family? No, Papa, he did not ask me to go. I want to go. I don't want him to be alone. I want to help him in his work. It is the greatest work a man can do, Papa. Papa, darling. Papa. How can I hope to make you understand why I do?
marry the two of you. They're in the wilderness. Papa, I promise we will be married under a canopy. Uh, no doubt the rabbi or two is also arrested. Well, give him my regards, this Moses of yours. Tell him I rely on his honor to keep my daughter safe. Tell him that. his hands. Take care of her. See that she dresses for him. A new arrival at Martel and Zaitos? I must congratulate him. I wonder what it is. So it's like... Rabbi, Rabbi, did you hear the yeah. news? A new arrival at Martel and Zaitos. Oh, that's a wonderful Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. So happy. Yeah. There's a new arrival there. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. I got it! Oh, it's beautiful! I know! Have you tried it yet? Look! Oh. oh! Beautiful! I know! And in less than a minute, and see how close and even the stitches are. It's beautiful! I know! Now my clothes will be perfect, made by machine. No more handmade clothes! Oh. Oh. Rabbi, the rabbi. Oh, look! Rabbi, it's my new sewing machine. Oh, wonderful! Rabbi, is that a blessing for a sewing machine? Why, there's a blessing for everything. Baruch Gatzar and Eileen, no more charity than was out of the phone of the... Sewing machine! Amen! Amen! And the baby? How's the baby? Oh, he's wonderful, Mom. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Fietka. I came for the shirt. It's ready. See, it's my new sewing machine. I see, I see. Congratulations! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good day. Good day. So how does it work? Oh, well, you see, it's an amazing thing. You work it with your foot and your hand. Kaba, they still don't know about us. You need to tell them. I will, I will, but... I'm afraid. Let me talk to your father. No, that would be the worst thing. I'm sure of it. Let me try. Let me try. Please, please I will talk with my father, I promise. Yeah. How about? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day. Good day.
Kava, what are the two of you talking about? Nothing. No, nothing. We were just talking. Papa, Dick and I have known each other for uh, quite some time now, and we thought... Kava, I would prefer if the two of you would remain friends from a distance. We must not forget who that man is, who we are. He has a name, Papa. Well, of course, all creatures on earth have a name. Fietka is not a creature, Fietka is a man. Well, who says he isn't? But he's not our kind of man. As the good book says, each shall seek his own kind, which means that a fish may love a bird, but where would they build a home together, Hava? No, the world is changing, Papa. No, not for us. Some things will never change for us. Well, we don't feel that way. We? Fiedka and I. We want to be married. Are you out of your mind? Do you know what this means? Married outside the faith? Papa! No, Hava, no. Never, never see him again. Never mention his name again. Never speak to me about this again. Never. Do you understand? Yes, Papa. I understand you. Ah! They're finally here. Let's go home. It's time for supper. I want to see Mom's new machine. You see it some other time. It's late. Quiet, woman, before I get angry. And when I get angry, even flies do not dare to fly. I'm very frightened of you. <laughs> we finished supper out there. Come home. Gola, I am the head of this house, the man of the family, and I am going to see Mom's new machine. <coughs> now let's go. <laughs> How long can that miserable horse of mine complain about this leg? I mean, if I can walk on two legs, why can't he on three? I, I know, I know, I'm, I'm complaining about my horse a lot. He's one of your creatures. He has the same rights that I have, the right to be sick, the right to be hungry, the right to work like a horse. And dear God, I'm sick and tired of pulling this cart. I know, I know, I should push it a while. Tevia! Tevia! Golda, what's, what's wrong? It's Kava. She left home this morning <coughs> with Fiedka. What? I looked all over for her. I even went to the priest. He told me they were married. Ma married? Go home, Golda. We, we, we have the other children at home. I, I have work to do, you have work to do. But Hava! Hava is dead to us! You forget her! <laughs> Go home, Golda.
little bird, little Kabbalah. I don't understand what's happening today. Everything is all a blur. All I can see is the happy child, the sweet little bird you are, Kabbalah, Kabbalah. Little bird, little Kabbalah. You are always such a pretty little thing, everybody's favorite child. Gentle and kind and affectionate, but a sweet little bird you are, Kabbalah, Kabbalah. Accept them? How can I accept them? Can I deny everything I believe in? On the other hand, how can I deny my own daughter? On the other hand, can I turn my back on my faith, on my people? If I try to bend that far, I will break. On the other hand, There is no other hand. Stop it, please. No, please, uh, no, it, please. Uh, no, 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 some rumors in town and we thought since you know him so well you could tell us what is true and what is not. What rumors? Someone from Zalodi told me that there was an Shh. Shh. 
Welcome, Your Honor. What's the good news in the world? Yes, do you have company? Yes, they're my friends. Just as well? What they have to say is, but there is also. Sevia, how much time do you need to sell your house and all of your goods? Sell my house? This isn't in anybody's way. I came here to tell you where you to leave on a Tevka. How did I come to deserve such an honor? Not just you, of course, but all of you. First, I thought you might be spared to our father who married My you. daughter is dead. I understand. At any rate, it defects all of you. You're going to have to leave our Tevka. This little corner of the world has always been our home. Why should we leave? I don't know why. There is trouble in this world. Troublemakers. What, like us? You aren't the only ones. Your people must leave all of the villages. Zalorin, Rabalevka, the whole district must be empty. I have an order here. Don't fight. Says you must sell your homes. Be out in three days. And you have known us all our lives. You carry out this order. I have nothing to do with this. Don't you understand? We understand. And what if we refuse to go? You'll be forced out. We will defend ourselves. Against our army? I wouldn't advise it. I have some advice for you. Get off my land. This is still my land. My land, get off my land! You have three days. We should get together with the people of Zolden. Maybe they have a plan? We should defend ourselves. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Yes. Yes, very good. That way the whole world will be blind and toothless. <laughs> and yet, we've been waiting for Messiah all our lives. Wouldn't this be a good time for him to come? Well, I suppose we'll have to wait someplace else. In the meantime, let's start packing. Well, Anasevka hasn't exactly been the garden of Eden. That's true. After all, what have we got here? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A pot, a pan, a broom, a hat. Someone should have sent a match to this place long ago. A bench. A tree. So what's a stove? Or a house. People who pass through our Tadka, they don't even know they've been here. A stick of wood. A piece of cloth. What do we need? Nothing much. Only a
our forefathers have been forced out of many, many places at the moment's notice. Maybe that's why we always wear our heads. With Uncle Abram, but he doesn't know it yet. He wish you and the baby were coming with us. We won't be staying in Warsaw. We have enough money to join you. Be careful with these. My mother and father, may they rest in peace, gave them to us on our wedding day. Come, children, help me pack those to the place. Come well, on, Golda, we have to hurry. Golda, we have to leave soon. Leave? It sounds so easy. I know. But Mago and Seibel, the baby, they'll be with us. We'll see. It's Mago as a person. And Hoggle and Perchip? When will we ever see them again? They come visiting us from Siberia every Sabbath. You know what she writes. He sits in prison. She works. Together, they will tear the whole world down together. She couldn't be happier. And the other children will be with us. Not all. All. Uncle, we have to hurry. Still have to sweep the floor. Sweep the floor? I don't want to leave a dirty house.
Well, Tevye, I'm off. Where are you going? Long Island, in America. Frumacera, may she rest in peace, has a brother there. It's nice. I hate him. <laughs> but a relative is a relative, I suppose. Goodbye, Tevye. Bye, Lisa. Inside. Are they almost finished inside? Almost, Pablo. stay among people who do such things to others. We wanted you to know that. Yes, we are leaving. Some are driven away by edicts, others by silence. Come, Chava. Goodbye, Papa. Mama. God be with you. God be with you. We will write to you in America if you like. We will be staying with Uncle Abra. Yes, Mama. We'll be staying with Uncle Abram. We'll be staying with Uncle Abram. The whole world has to know our business. Stop yelling and finish packing. I, I don't need your advice, Golda. Silo, don't forget the baby. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, come on, children. We can put these in the cart. A long journey ahead of us. We have to catch a train and a boat. Goodbye, Mama. Work hard, Mama. I will work heavy. I will work hard. Right. 
children. Hey, go though, we, we can leave those pots. No, we can't! All right, we'll take them. We're going on a train in a boat. We're going on a train in a boat. Stop that! Behave yourselves, we're not in America yet. Come, children. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 